it's Cindy. Welcome back to Studio Lou. So this is the sixth and final journal in my series of six Sidewinder journals that will go up in my shop this weekend. Um, this one I'm just calling Dandelions. So um, just a reminder, a Sidewinder journal is these are made from a collection of vintage books so it's two books that are attached together one opens from this side one opens from this side this particular journal has three signatures in each side these are nearly naked journals meaning that they don't have ephemera inside they're ready to be personalized by you um, and they are a lot of fun though they're filled with really fun papers um, so the way that the this one it has been closed is that there's a metal eyelet that goes through either side of the book and and it's vintage seam binding that ties the book closed. So we just open it on up like that. Um, so we'll start with the first side of the journal. I should mention this beautiful fabric um, binding um, is on the outside. So just a closer look at this nice crackled image of a dandelion um, on this side and the same on this side. Just the various stages of a dandelion. Okay, so I'll open up this side of the journal and just tuck the lace in behind here. Oops. Okay, so when you open up the journal, you're greeted with this lovely um, striped yellowy paper um, and then a vintage seed catalog from 1893. Some blue paper. And then this is invoice triplicate. It comes in pink, yellow, and white. So there's three of those. Avocado dyed paper. This is cabbage dyed teacher's marking paper. Then this is from an anatomy coloring book. Purple paper. And then some blue and orange lined paper. Certificate paper. And then the other side of all those pages that I just described, so more of the anatomy coloring book. Sorry, I should show you that. <laughs> Here we go. I like to try to show every single page as I do these flip throughs. Every now and then I probably do miss a page or two. Um, more of the blue paper. And then this is like a celestial image of a bear and another seed packet image. Then this is um, from a vintage gardening book. It's these beautiful pink daisy-like flowers with a butterfly. And then this is like a beautiful um, piece of pottery with an incredible pattern. This is jelly printing on a vintage music book. Teacher's marking paper, um, fluorescent yellow lined paper. This is jelly printing with metallic paint on construction paper. And magic paper. It's from an Etsy shop. Unfortunately, I forget the name, but it is uh, one of my favorite papers to add in my journals. And this is Easter egg dyed paper. More jelly printing. Children's composition paper. And then the other side of those same um, papers that I just described. And then we're at the third signature on this side. And this is just a close-up of um, a stem from a magazine. And some aqua-colored paper, certificate paper, some blue and then a large photograph of roses. Um, jelly printing. That is avocado dyed paper. And then this is the story of the bird who has been, who was killed by kindness. And then some crabs and some fall leaves. And then the other side of those images, beautiful uh, roses and other flowers. And then this beautiful flower to end this side of the journal. And then we come to this lovely yellow cross hatch paper. So then we flip the first side closed and then we are at the beginning of side two. 
uh, which flips open in this direction. So the same paper is there to greet you again. And then this is um, more of the rose photography. And then um, this is more of the fall leaves. And then this is a magazine image of these beautiful wooden bird cages. Easter egg dyed paper, jelly printing. This is actually a knitting chart pattern. Blue paper. And then some Easter egg dyed lined paper. And this is the story on um, imitating someone else's flaw. And lined paper. And this is some um, avocado dyed paper more of that knitting chart and it's a flip out and then more jelly printing more avocado dyed paper this is like a, a denim image and then more of that beautiful wooden bird cage and more of them and more of the fall leaves and more of the flowers and then we're at the, the second signature on this side. And this is just like um, a printout from a vintage image of um, meteors. It was a study like in the, I believe, 1800s of what sort of like artists were depicting how meteors and comets looked coming out of the sky. And then purple construction paper. This is cabbage dyed paper. And then more of that invoice triplicate, pink, yellow, and white. Um, and then this is um, from an anatomy coloring book, cabbage dyed dotted paper, purple paper, avocado dyed paper, certificate. And then the center of this signature is two images from 1800s seed catalogs. And then this is the other side of all the papers that I've just described. Lots of writing space and lots of space for you to add your own images or collages. Another of those comet images. This is a jelly print. This is a fluorescent yellow lined paper, magic paper children's composition paper. This is actually potato printing and really bright colors on construction paper. Teacher's marking paper. Uh, an image of some mountains. And a landscape. Dark blue paper. And the center of the signature is a large jelly print. Blue paper, landscape with deer, more landscape, more marking paper, and more of those potato prints. More magic paper, and the other side of that lovely jelly print. And then this is the inside between the two books, and we just have like a fabric pocket right here that you could stick something into. Okay, so that is the end of this journal. Um, these journals will be going up in my shop a little bit later, either today or tomorrow, or over the weekend, definitely. Um, all of my social media information is down below in the description box, including my um, Etsy link. So thank you so much for joining me um, on this little Sidewinder journal adventure, and um, have a lovely day. Bye.